Yeah. It's on your lot. Do your thing, God. Hold on, let me make sure. chapter 4 verse 17 it says for the time has come that judges mu judgment must begin at the house of the heavenly father that's, like, that's, not the one I that's, that's a good one too though man what? i think it's a uh, four and seven it's like, uh, you know because judgment is yeah. going to uh, yeah. begin at the uh the house of the heavenly father man sorry bro you yeah. know yep yeah. this uh first peter's four and seven it says but the end of all things is at hand right the right. end of all things is at hand man uh. everything you know it all right the way uh society is ran man Okay, all this is about to end, man. Yeah. All right, why? Because this is nothing but wickedness here, man. Right. Yeah. All right, and tell you in uh, Hosea 4 that the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of this land. Right. 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 And then it goes through why, man. Okay. Many we can get that one too, man. You know? If any brother want to grab that real quick, uh, Hosea 4 one. You know? The Lord said he has a, a, a controversy with this land, man. And then he goes through the reasons why. Okay? So the end of all things at hand, man. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh ye children of Israel. Right, that's who the word of the Lord is to, you children of Israel, man. And that's it. Go ahead up. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Right, the Lord has a controversy with you people here, man. All right, starting with the so called white man, which is the devil, man. That's right. Okay, and all our people, two thirds of you want to join hand in hand with him. That's right, bro. Go ahead. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Heavenly Father in the land. Right. There is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh mm. Shimei in this land, man. Woo. You know? This devil don't uphold the Lord's law, you know? He pushed the Bible on, on the back burner, man. Yeah. You know? Uh. Everything that the Lord said to do, he he, he does the opposite, man. Uh. All right? So uh. there's no truth here. All right? Our people are living Just like it tell you in Jeremiah 50, it tells you that Ogi destroys of my heritage. Ooh. You know, and Esau had did that. As this brother's talking, I'm thinking out, I'm thinking about how the foundation of America was established. It wasn't, it wasn't established on the, the, the principle, the true principles of the of Yahweh Shai, the, the real statue laws and commandments. Right. But it was it was like a, a facade or it was like a, a covering over it because they came in Christianity, they in but they Christianity. performed satan work or devil's work right you know yeah that's right man you know because that's that's what this society is all about man worshiping satan you know uh -huh. so that's the foundation of this wicked kingdom man you know? Go ahead, huh? uh verse two by swearing and lying uh -huh. and killing yep. and stealing man all, all that man swearing lying 
killing and stealing, man. All right? That's that's America's MO, man. All right? How did, how did the so-called white man get this land? All right? He stole it, man. That's right. All right, all right from, my, from my brothers, man, the, the, the Native American Indians, man, all right, which are the tribe of Gad, man. You know? Yeah. And all the rest of that. He stole the islands. He stole the islands from uh, the Arawak Indians, the, the tribe of Ephraim. He went to Cuba, he robbed Cuba, which is the tribe of Manasseh, Central Central America, right. which was, which is the tribe of Zebulon, and South America, all in the land, he stole it. Stole it man. You know? uh -huh. And those same conquerors, okay, they, they get celebrated today, man. You know? They got books wrote about them, you learn about them in your, in your school. Statues. They got statues of them, you know? And these ain't nothing but murderers, man. You know? They just do uh, Andrew Jackson, which is on the twenty dollar bill. That his nickname was the the Indian Killer. You know, a lot of people don't know that. Bro. No, no, go finish your point. No, I'm just saying a lot of people don't know that, man. You know? Yeah, bro. And then remember when Trump? Uh, it was one of the meetings he had in the White House. They had a big mural portrait of, of Andrew Jackson in the back as he was speaking. Man, look at that. You know? You know? Why are you speaking? So, Esau Edom prides himself in what he did, right. conquering our people and taking over the land. Wow. And then he has receipts. He left us with receipts. What is the receipts? All the name of these, all the, the names of the uh, of the conquered land is based after him. Right. That's what he did. That's why you got you got a street like Sepulveda. That was a goddamn conquistador, man. Right. Spaniards and stuff. That's why you got it called, it's not, it's called El Salvador. Right. You know? Which is a, that's a Spanish word. Meaning the savior. The savior. Yeah. yeah, man. You know, and then this devil, he wanna, uh, you know, cause hey, Martin Luther King, he wasn't for us, man. Yeah. Uh. But he'll but he give uh, uh, Jake a uh, uh, day, you know, and a month. Yeah, you know, cause it's so called Black History Month. Right now, you know? But yeah, he was set up, man, you know? He was, he was with the, uh, the elite's agenda, man. Okay, so everything that this damn devil taught, it was all a lie, man. That's right. You know? said that, bro, if you're not, like literally, all throughout history since the, 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 uh, the civil rights era of Jake waking up and doing this and that, and Martin Luther King to Malcolm X, if they wasn't teaching the word of the Yahweh Shemuel Shai to the children of Israel, they were set up. They were set up. Whether they were CIA operative or whether they were just set up by Satan. Right, right. You know? But regardless, they were set up to not teach the truth. Right. You know? Right oh, uh, and committing adultery, mm -hmm. they break out and blood touches blood. They committing adultery, okay? It's a, it's a lot of that going on in America. And this, this so-called white man allows it to go on, man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's constant videos going out where, where a man catches his woman stepping out on yeah. camera, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's, it's, that's nothing but wickedness here, man. You know? And what the Lord said, that's what you're supposed to happen to you if you commit adultery, man. All right, the adulterer and the adulteress is supposed to be put to death. Right, right. 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 You know? And we're going to establish that, man. All right, in our kingdom, man. Uh. You know? We're going to push it, too, man. We're going like, we to set forth that frequency now. That's right. You know? No adultery, man. That shit is that. That's one of the, that's one of the uh, Ten Commandments. Yeah. You know? One of the Ten, man. You know? Head up. Come. Was it more than ever? I got some. That was the end of verse 2. Yeah, that was like, that was pretty much it. Okay, come, come. First Peter chapter 4, verse 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. That's right. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Right. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. You got your NLT? Because I was reading that last okay. night in the. Uh, NLT, you know, that, that scripture is crucial, all right? So the end of all things at hand, and then the latter part of the verse, it, you know, it goes to us brothers on how we should be in these end times, man, you know? It says, therefore, be ye sober and watch unto prayer, man, constantly pray, man, praying unto the Lord, man, you know? Yeah. I got a walk in. It's uh, First Peter chapter four, verse seven in the NLT. It says the end of the world is coming soon. Right. The end of the world is coming soon. The end of this devil's rulership, man. The end of America is coming soon. You know? Go ahead. It says the end of the world is coming soon. 
Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Like, therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers, man. Ooh. All right, and that word earnest, it goes back to uh, being serious, man. Yep. Yep. Being serious. You know, uh, uh, a solemn, man, you know? That's the same, that's the same uh, Hebrews 2 and 1. Yeah. Huh. It said, uh, it's used the word earnest right there, and it means to be serious. Huh. You know? So be, be serious minded, okay? Solemn, all right? And um, what's, the, what's the last part say, bro? It says, therefore be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Earnest and disciplined in your prayers, man. Constantly praying unto the Lord, man. Having that uh, connection with Yahweh man. That's you know? the spirit, bro. Like, like uh, this week I've been trying to get more serious about praying and about uh, feeling it, feeling the prayer. And for me having that mindset, I actually feel it. I actually, when I'm praying, I, I can feel it. Right. And it just came first from wanting that mindset. It wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, I went and purchased something and I was able to get that or, you know, I did something for the most high. No, I just wanted to feel like that. And right. the Lord gave that to me. Uh, so I, I, I encourage brethren, the, the, the mindset you take, the energy you, you, you think of, you want to produce out, just go for that and then Watch the results be given to you in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Right. Uh -huh. That's right, man. That's right. And, that, and you know, it's only for the uh, the ser serious minded, too, man. You know? Oh. You know, can we look up that word earnest? Yeah, it's like in the, uh, you know, dictionary. Uh, It says, 2nd Andrew chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of center of times? Or what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Yeah, man. So this is uh, Ezra's asking the, uh, the angel Uriel, okay, when, when is going to be the parting of center of times? When When is going to change up, man? You know, because that's how the Lord, you know, he, he does it. He does it in history, man. One kingdom will be in power, and then we took it down by another kingdom, and that kingdom that kingdom took, took it down and you know so on and so forth man you know but but this kingdom all right the Shai's kingdom is prophesied to last forever man all right this is our last captivity man there will be no more of us going into slavery okay it's going off you know like it says uh i think it's ecclesiastes the ninth chapter it says time and chance have happened to them all what? meaning that the heavenly father gave each of these nations a, a chance to rule the earth he gave them a shot at controlling the kingdoms uh -huh. and what has happened during the time of the babylonians they didn't do nothing but nothing but establish false gods the, per the persians and the meats the i mean uh, uh the persians and the meats the greeks the, the romans 
and then even to all the way up to this current uh, empire, they didn't do nothing but establish false gods and false ways. So when Yahweh come and take the kingdom of heaven, that's when, as I tell you in Sirach 14 and 4, that's going to be the one that's profitable to set over the earth. That's right. Because yeah. you know? the earth was meant to um, be a paradise man. You know, like the elders was going into that uh, the elders, uh, the GMS had the job. Yeah, the elders, the elders designed yeah. one. Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Connecticut the elders, they was going into um, it was going into uh, it was going into uh, the earth being a paradise. Yeah, earth being a paradise, you know, because that that's what the earth was created for, man, to be a paradise. Okay, but this devil, he he's he's killing everything, man. You know, right. this Con. dude is this death, man. You, know? Con. Con. you can't enjoy this place with this man in power. Yeah, what's that scripture in Revelation that said him that destroyed the earth? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, but destroy him that destroyed the earth. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the mo of the devil. That's 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 his fingerprint. His fingerprint is all over the earth. And how you know if it's his, his fingerprint, his hands been on it? If it's destroyed, if it's destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, right there, that's why, why you think after a thousand years, all the other nations, after a thousand years of servant captivity, all the other nations under Israel, all the other nations is going to descend their land, but Esau has to be exterminated. Right. Why? Because all he knows is to be destructive, it's right. destroyed. Why would we, after a thousand years of everything being replenished and built up, let his ass go, and what are you going to start doing? He'll, he'll start trying to destroy it. So is the Lord going to do with him? Destroy off his whole race, and whatever the Lord decides to do with that man's spirit, whether it be put in the other nations, or I even heard Apostle Tahor recently say, the Heavenly Father may create a new nation. That's why he put him in there. We're going to see. Hey, it's only right because he's trying to extinct every, everybody and everything. When his ass is gonna be the only one extinct? Woo! Uh -huh. You know, after your heart, after your uh, your captivity, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice and loud. <clears throat> this is Psalms chapter ninety-two, verse seven. When the wicked spring as the grass, as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Right. Woo! Right. So when, so when they uh -huh. rise, it's only for them to be destroyed, man. You know, the workers of iniquity. Right. right. We're just talking about Esau, man. Workers of iniquity being in sin, man. That's what this man is about, man. Just, just constantly going against the Heavenly Father, man. And everything that he set up. You know? But you, you were programmed to do that, you know? Alright. <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, what I said. This is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the day that they should be judged. Right. And that thou shouldest give the word unto thy servants, the prophets, to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. Right. And yeah. should destroy, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Right, and the Lord's gonna destroy them, which is the nation of Esau, the nation uh, the Edomites, all right, which destroyeth the earth, right. man. Not just the earth, but every, the people, everything in it, man. Yeah, bro. Everything in it. The earth, hey, the earth as a whole, the people is earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and plus the, the actual earth itself, yeah. man. The ground, the ground, everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He destroying everything, the man. Water, the bodies of water, he destroying that, you know? And he's so natural doing it. Yeah. It's, it's not an unnatural thing to him. It's natural for him to do it. It's like it's 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 like when you wake up in the morning, you know, and, and, and you go use the restroom. How natural that is. That is for you to wake up and one of the first things you do is you the restroom bathroom. Exactly. That's that's him. Oh, that's him. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you when you when you approach a door, the natural thing for you to do is grab the knob and, and turn it. That's what that's him, man. You know? That's he, he destroying shit on a major level to where the Lord has to give us that spiritual power to know to know in more detail of what he's been doing, man. That's right, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because we know. On the you know the surface of it, but in detail, this dude's man. been doing major shit, man. man right, on. you know, like that, sir. You know, that dude doing some, he doing some, uh, some heavy double shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's back in Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven, it says, "Then answered I and said, What should be the parting asunder of times, or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it?" And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, right. Abraham and Isaac, and, uh, and 
Jacob is, all right? That's that's what the angel told Ezra. So he brought it all the way back to the children of promise, okay? Because that's, that's what it's about, man, all right? The Lord has a, a chosen line, man, right? okay? You know, Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob, man, all right? But Jacob is there to change to Israel, man, okay? And that's and that's from our forefathers, man, right. okay? Not not the so-called white man, all right? That's right. That's, no, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's, I was saying, those are not his uh, forefathers, man. Right, right. I was gonna say it's crazy because he, he had to take you back to the to the genesis right. or the origins or the beginnings. Right. Let me tell you, look, when it was first going down, this is how it was established. Which is that's how you figure out something. You gotta go to the beginning you of the thing. Beginning, man. You gotta you gotta read about it. You know, yeah. Genesis 25. Yeah. You know, you gotta know about these stories. Cause hey, really, Jacob and Esau are the stars of the Bible. Yeah. Sure is. You right. gotta yeah. you gotta know about you know Jacob and Esau, man. Yeah. Yeah. But you, but you Christians, y'all don't know, man. That's good and evil right there. Uh, you know, that's 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 that balance is that the Heavenly Father put on the earth. You got the good and you got the evil. Yeah. Well, the good is always going to overcome the evil. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. How was Shana that? showed that? It said, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob's the Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Right, Esau right. is the end of the world, okay? And Esau is in power right now, all right? So we're right now in the end of the world, man. In the end of this age, man, okay? This rulership, man. We're at the latter end of it, man, okay? It says Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man, all right? So right now we're, we're in, the, in the time that we're the changing of powers, okay? And we, we about to move, man, right. you know? Yeah, that's why we hear it talks of World War III heavy. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Putin talking about invading Ukraine next week, Wednesday. We'll see if the Heavenly Father keeps that evil thought in his mind and continually put evil thoughts in his mind to get his to get his troops over here in America, man. But that's what he, he, he might say. But what dummy will let the another another uh, person, know. person know when you're going to invade? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's you know. <laughs> That's like the same thing with a thief. A thief, you ain't gonna know when a thief gonna come and, and rob you. You know what, I mean? right. you know what I'm saying? So why would you tell a person, yeah, uh, you know, next Tuesday, I'm gonna uh, come and get your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right as soon as so, I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm coming. <laughs> two o'clock, two o'clock on the top, we're here. Nah, you just gonna show up. That's right. right. You just gonna show the fuck up, man. Woo! You, just, you gonna let them know, you gonna wake their ass up with a bomb or two. That's right, That's right. Like what it do, right. you know That's what I'm right. saying? Prophecy because it's uh, you know, going back to rumors of war. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. That's right, bro. Uh, and it just makes us happy because it just it's the energy and frequency towards what we uh, what we want to happen and what the prophecy say will happen. That's right. Which is the uh, war gonna come? The third world coming quickly. He said uh, because righteous uh, unrighteous dealings and injuries. Uh, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. King, that's King, that's yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand. Other questions, Ezra, ask thou not. That's right, man. So we, we definitely in the end of this man's kingdom, man. You know? This is uh, Sarah 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Well, righteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. This is right. This is all connecting the dots to Esau, man. That's right. Okay. This man, he, he does nothing but uh, put unrighteous decrees out there. Okay. Injuries. What another uh, definition of that word? Injury is a uh, crime. You know, when you look it up, this man, this man uh, does crime. All right. That's his mo. You know? Every everybody on the planet is injured. So, yeah. Everybody on the planet injured in oh, some okay. kind of way. Uh -huh. Either your mind is injured, me, you know what I'm saying, your body, you know what I'm saying, uh, some, something's injured, man. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, dis he didn't destroy everybody, even his own people, man. Even his own people. That's how much of a devil he can't help me. He, he's just doing what he naturally, could, naturally do. You know, that's like a snake, a snake, shit. You can't, you know, it's in their nature. nature to fight. I did not know I'm on my uh, I'm on my channel. I'm gonna switch channels. Yeah. Because I don't want I don't want to I don't want to put that. But I'm gonna do it quick. Slock it, guys. I know we locked in the spirit, but I'm gonna switch it. Cause I'm gonna switch it. Cause.
Hey, hey, we're going to go to GMS Ancient of Day 04. Shalom, Maki, and we'll be right back. Shalom.